I'm excited. Hopefully we can see something. Great. Okay. Well, at least you may have twins. Yeah. If not triplets. Huh? Seriously, this is today is the weirdest day. I no way. Well, but they're still quite early. I see three huh? yolk sacs. Huh? Yeah. So one is in one sack, the other two in in another sack. So it's really it's a possibility. It's triplets. <gasps> It's rare yeah. to have triplets naturally, yeah. But right now still, that's why the hormones are growing well, and but it's still too quite early. So I'm back home now. I had the longest drive I've ever had in my entire life. I got out of there, out of the uh, doctor's office, and I'm still shaking. I don't know, like, in a couple of hours when it's going to come home, and I just have to tell him, but I, I don't have like a plan. Like I want to have like a cute plan, <laughs> a cute plan, but I'm like scared. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm ex so excited, but like, I'm just out of it. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> so I guess uh, for next week, I have an appointment schedule and, um, they're pretty much just going to do like, a. uh, ultrasound which confirms or kind of give me more information about uh the triplets and i think they mentioned if all goes well and we might be able to see a heartbeat for all of them because right now it's, it's too soon so um my plan is just to wait until we tell our families our immediate families uh until it is confirmed but we never in a million years expected to hear three. <laughs> and that night I went home and I started reviewing my HCG levels where you can hear the doctor saying that they were high since the beginning. So here are my HCG levels. So um, on 820, they were 94. And that's when we got our first positive. That was our first um, doctor's appointment at three weeks and five days, and that confirmed my pregnancy. Four days later, it went more than double. Usually, normally it goes uh, from like two to four days, I believe, it doubles up. So instead of being double the number of 94, it went all the way to 800. And 95.7 at four weeks and two days which makes it only four days after after that uh they wanted me to do more blood work and they did two more days after which was 8 26 20 and now they were at 2651 making me four weeks and four days pregnant so that was pretty high at um uh, what is three days later 8 29 20 2020 doctor again wanted me to get more blood work done and now they were at the 9379 and that was when i was exactly five weeks so my numbers were very high and the doctor just pretty much just uh kept monitoring them because they were multiplying not only just by two but like big amount of numbers so the last one I didn't record but it was a really big, big number it just it didn't double it went over as well so those are my levels today is August 8 and I am six weeks and three days pregnant Today I have my third appointment and an ultrasound before seeing my doctor. So I'm excited, a little nervous, but I think it's normal. And I'll show you guys my big stomach. Well, I feel like it's big, but I think it's just like I'm bloated. 
so yeah so this is my six weeks the three days oh there you go just kind of like bloated right here so yeah <laughs> We just made it to our appointment. Wish us luck. So I'm just taking the whatever measurement tool. Just gonna put it in there. And I'm really hoping we see three heartbeats as well. Yes. All right. So there's two in one right there. Okay. And you see the flicker? Hold on. Yes. You see the flicker on both of them? Oh, yes. That's the heartbeat. Oh, so two, and then the last one. <laughs> There's a little know. heartbeat too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you, oh, you do have three in there from what I can see. Obviously we have to wait till the doctor agrees. If everything's normal, it's gonna be up to the doctor to say, okay? Okay. But yeah, two and one, and then one by itself. Oh my goodness, I'm so exciting. Sorry, I'm trying to get, there you go, the angle of the last one. See the little flicker? Yeah. The heartbeat, girl. A little flicker, that's really what it needs. Like that. All right. Hi. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yes. I'm done. I'm going to take this out. Okay. I know. So painful. So painful. So they confirmed that there is three babies. Ah, I'm so excited. So there's a two in one bag and then there's one by itself. And we did see a three heartbeats and I'm very, very excited. But right now I'm waiting for my paperwork so they, I'm going to get transferred to see a triplet specialist. So I'm waiting for all my paperwork. In the meanwhile, I'm doing this. They also did tell me that expected due date will be like May 1st, but because there's three, they hope babies stay in um, like 32 to 34 weeks. It's good. Even if it's like March, I guess it's still considered okay because there's three. I don't know, but yeah. So the first five weeks of my pregnancy, this pregnancy, I felt no symptoms at all all pretty much I felt I did feel a little bit nauseous every now and then but it wasn't like a, a daily thing it was more like a, maybe I'll say once every two weeks I will feel a little bit nauseous just to random things but I didn't think about it much it was until the week eight where I started feeling nauseous more often and i did throw up one time i believe or two and i just felt very very tired that's pretty much like the biggest thing i felt tired very tired drained i had no energy whatsoever i wanted to go to sleep all day if i could i would have been asleep the entire time but i couldn't so definitely tiredness then was we reached week nine and that's when everything changed at that point i woke up one day and i was extremely feeling extremely sick i couldn't eat drink i couldn't sleep i just felt very sick and then eventually because i wasn't drinking or eating enough or at all i felt very sick that's when we decided that night the about probably like after 24 hours of feeling that sick I, we decided that it was best for me to double check and we went to the ER and here is some footage of that day it's September 16 and today I have not been able to eat the entire day so I'm in the doctor and it's like 8 9 at night they're going to start me on suero and like medication because I feel dehydrated and yeah Ugh, tough day hopefully 
tomorrow's a better day.